False information pisses me off. Now, when I was a kid, I was told that Daddy Long Legs spiders are some of the most venomous spiders in the world. It's just their fangs are too small to bite you. Kind of like ding dong ditching a deaf lady's house, you know? Like, you know, what, what's what's the purpose of it all? Me and my coworker were talking about this a couple years ago at work, and he brings up this story about how there was these campers out in the woods, and a couple of these spiders got in their coffee pot overnight. Well, in the morning they got up, they made their coffee, and apparently the, the spiders got cooked in there with it because. They drank that shit and they died. All of them, man, right there in the tent, all packed together with the pillows, the blankets, looking like a sardine sleepover. Fast forward to today, I'm in my kid's room, and sure as shit as shit as sure, I see a daddy long leg spider on his floor. I start freaking out. I'm thinking about that story back in the day. You gotta watch my son. He'll put anything in his mouth. My son will eat dog shit if you let him. So I had to deal with that spider. And you may be asking, what happened to that spider? Anyways, I get back in the house earlier and I get to really thinking about it, you know, I know these spiders are venomous, but like perspectively, like how venomous are they, you know? So I pull out my little Google, you know, I pull out my googly. These spiders ain't even poisonous. Not only that, but my friend, he made up that whole story. He made up that whole story. You, you lying bitch. I confronted him about it. And turns out that story was actually half true. Apparently a group of people did die, but now they, they weren't in a tent actually. They, they were in a pop-up meth lab out there. But from what I heard, those things were cheaply built and, and they had a, you know, extreme fire hazards. You know, they had an extension cord out there plugged up to a microwave. One of them tried to cook a Hot Pocket, you know. I, I'm not clear on all the details. I ain't trying to act like I know what happened or who I know who it was or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just saying. I did learn a valuable lesson today though, you know. I, I need to stop believing what everybody says, you know, and Start watching more Joe Rogan, you know.